You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Uh, so just some basics about functions. Uh, you may be asked on the test, well one, it's good to have a good understanding of what they are, but two, on the test you may even be asked fairly specifically uh, to identify the basics of a function. Um, so a relation, first of all, is any mapping of x onto y. Uh, more specifically, a function is a type of relation in which a value from x is paired with exactly one value of y, uh, which is to say, uh, for every x, there is one y. That's kind of the shorthand definition that um, the testing service kind of wants you to understand. Um, the way we can test this graphically, or understand this concept as well, uh, is the vertical line test. So if a vertical line intersects the graph more than once, the relation is not a function. Um, so a relation, uh, just a relation in general, can have multiple values of y for an x, a function cannot. Um, so when we have this vertical line, essentially what we're saying, if you think of like the xy plane, um, we're putting a line, uh, such you know, kind of a vertical line, and that might equate to any value of x. So for example, if we're at x equals two, we're drawing a vertical line. Uh, everywhere along that line, x equals two, and it's just a matter of what the y values are. Uh, since a function can only have one, can have that one y value for that one x value, if this vertical line hits this, uh, the graph in, it, in more than one place, uh, then we know it's not a function. So in the first example here, we have the circle uh, graph, we draw a line, uh, we can clearly see that that line intersects the graph in two places, um, so we can say it's not a function. So that is to say that uh, if that was the graph, we would have an x value uh, such that there would be two y values. Therefore, uh, by definition, it can't be a function. Uh, similarly with the second, uh, we can draw a vertical line, it touches that graph in three places, uh, in which case that's not a function, and then the third graph we can see that wherever we draw a vertical line, it is only going to hit that graph in one, one spot, uh, so we can say that that is a function. Uh, some notation, uh, f of x equals 2x plus 3. What that means is that y equals 2x plus 3, you see y or f of x, uh, you know, just indicating the function. Um, they, they're used interchangeably. Um, that is to say that f of x means a function of x. Uh, the value of y depends on the value of x. Again, we're putting in an uh, x and we, we get back a y, essentially. x is the input value, y is the output value. A function maps an x value onto a y value. Of course, that's what we've been talking about. Uh, and some very good terminology to, to know uh, is dom domain and range. Uh, so the set of x values form the domain. Uh, so whatever values of x you could possibly be working with uh, in that function, you know, maybe different for different functions. Um, you know, that's the domain. Uh, the set of y values, kind of those, those values that can be returned, uh, those are the range. Um, very easy to confuse the two, um, so it's just a, a good, good terminology to keep straight in your head. Domain has to do with x values, range has to do with y values. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.